What's going on guys, my name's Evolution and welcome to my channel. So this video that I'm going to be showing you guys is me one day riding to work on my Prula RS50 and unfortunately things don't quite go as planned and I ended up having my first motorbike crash. And the, the accident itself had quite a large impact on my life for a short period of time. Not because of the extent of the damage to my motorbike or in fact myself more importantly but the fact that I'd only been riding for just over three months and that it was my first ever accident and my first ever experience of coming off properly I guess. I've got to ensure you it's not the most enjoyable experience flying through the air watching your motorcycle tumble across the ground. But at the end of the day, it does happen to most motorbike riders at one time or another. There really isn't a way to prevent it. Unfortunately, it's one of them things. And if unfortunately it does ever happen to you, hopefully you know you're wearing the fully protective gear and that it's not a majorly serious accident. But from my perspective, it was quite a big learning curve for me. You know, I've been there, I've got the t-shirt and in the long run, it has improved my riding ability. Just remember to take care on the road and ride safely. So on that note, let's go to the footage of where the accident actually happened and I'll do a small breakthrough during the video just explaining where I went wrong and how I actually came off. So the main reason that threw me off course was I actually had to take a diversion route to work and this long stretch of road here I have never ridden before and I was a little bit unfamiliar with. I soon noticed this blind bend just up ahead, therefore I start to decrease my speed. But where I was panicking and focusing on increasing my speed, I completely misjudged my positioning in the corner and then realised that I was in the centre of the road. The last thing I wanted was for a car to come flying around that corner and to hit me head on. So I threw myself as wide as I possibly could which then obviously I ended up taking the corner very wide and to make the situation even more worse there was a pothole on the outside of the corner and I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what happens next. So what I probably should have done is gone around that corner a bit slower because I didn't know the area so well and when I was taking that corner wide as soon as I saw that pothole instead of trying to go around it on the left side of the road where there was practically no space I should have just gone on the oncoming lane because there wasn't actually any traffic there at the time. But anyways let's watch the crash scenario one more time just so you guys get another look for yourself. So guys, I just want to thank you guys so much for coming over here and checking out my crash video. Just to clarify, I am all alright, and uh, if you guys have got any motorbike related questions about this video, or the crash itself, be sure to drop a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more.